How the Time of the End Began, and How World War III Will Soon Begin. This is Richard Perry, and it's March 15, 2011. This video will point out from Scripture when and how the time of the end began, and how World War III will soon begin. What I'm going to show you is a new biblical interpretation about the time of the end. One reason that my interpretation is better than those of the past is because God said this, Daniel, the words are closed and sealed until the time of the end. Yahweh states that the words are closed and sealed until the time of the end, when they will be opened and unsealed. Now that the time of the end has come, the seals are being opened. One more thing before we examine this new time of the end interpretation. Christ said, when warning us about the time of the end, he said, Be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. He has already told us everything. It's in the scriptures. So what is the time of the end? The time of the end is not the last days. The last days began with Christ almost 2,000 years ago and will end after the next 1,000 years, called the millennium. The time of the end is not the Great Tribulation. The Great Tribulation will begin in the middle of the last seven years at the abomination that causes desolation and end three and a half years later. Each time that God has prescribed has a beginning and an end. The time of the end also has a beginning and an end. And here's what Christ said about the beginning. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning, the beginning of birth pains. The time of the end will be less than 70 years from beginning to end. This is what Christ said. When you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until the kingdom comes. The generation lasts from when it's born until when it dies. The only other place in the Bible that all, has all these beginning signs, wars, famines, plagues, pestilence, and earthquakes, are found in the seals of Revelation chapter 6. When we examine the first four seals, we find that each have a horse and rider, and each horse is a different color. Since the only correct way to interpret the Bible is to let Scripture interpret Scripture, therefore we will ask the questions and let Yahweh, the God of the Bible, do the talking. First, what is a horse and rider? Scripture says, I will sing to Yahweh, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he hurled into the sea. Therefore, a horse symbolizes an army, and the rider symbolizes the leader of the army. Again, letting scripture interpret scripture, the second question is, what do the four colored horses symbolize? The only other place in scripture that has four colored horses is in Zechariah chapter 6. And this is what Yahweh says about the four colored horses. These are the four spirits of heaven going out from standing in the presence of the Lord of the whole world. The black horses are going toward the north country, the white horses toward the west, and the dappled horses toward the south, which leaves the red horses to go to the east of Israel. According to Zechariah chapter 6, this is the, the assignments given by God to the horses. Has the first seal been opened? Yes. There was a white horse. Its rider held a bow and he was given a crown and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. The white horse went to the west. The rider is the leader of the army from the west. When 9-11 happened, the leader of the west was holding a bow. He was the commander-in-chief. After 9-11, he was given a crown. He won a second term as president. After 9-11, he rode out to Afghanistan and to Iraq as a conqueror. For the remainder of his time as president, he was determined to win the war on terror. When 9-11 happened, the leader of the West was holding a bow. He was the commander-in-chief. 
After 9-11, he was given a crown. He won a second term as president. After 9-11, he rode out as a conqueror to Afghanistan and Iraq. For the remainder of his time as president, he was determined to win the war on terror. The first seal has been opened and is now history to be observed by Yahweh's people, those who have the eyes to see and ears to hear. This interpretation is not mine. It was taught to me from Scripture by the Holy Spirit. The first seal was opened on 9-11. The second seal will open soon. Another horse, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and make men slay each other. To him was given a great battle. Once again, we see that the white horse goes to the west and the red horses will go to the east, Iran. When the second seal opens, war will break out starting between the U.S. and Iran. I know this because about two years ago, the Lord said to me, The red horse symbolizes Iran. I have stirred up the kings of the Medes, which is Iran, because my purpose is to destroy Babylon. The time of the end has come. The first seal is open, which began the time of the end. The second seal is about to open. Christ said, when you see all these things, you will know that it is near, right at the door.